Hello guys, this is Chitur Vamsi and I am a YouTube content creator at Project Pro. In this particular video, we are going to see an NLP based data science project. In this video, we are going to do a project on hate speech detection. Let's come to the point and see what is hate speech detection. Hate speech detection basically means we want to detect if some communication such as text, audio and so on contains hatred or any kind of discouraging violence towards a person or a group of people. This is usually based on prejudice against protected characteristics such as ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, religion, age, etc. Now let's get started and do end-to-end -end project of this hate speech detection. On top of everything, we need to import the necessary libraries which are Pandas and Ari. Pandas helps us to deal with data frames while Ari library is useful to write regexs while doing pre-processing. Let's run this cell. Now after we have imported the necessary libraries, we want to import the data set to the notebook. So I am writing pd.readcsv of train.csv which will load the train data set to the train variable. Let's see what do we have in the train data frame. We see that we have three columns which are id, label and tweet and when we run the train.info we get the info related to the data frame. We see that we have 31,962 non-null counts in all the three columns and the data types are id goes with int64, label goes with int64 and tweet is object data type. Now let us load the test dataset as well to the test variable. Now the test data frame head is printed and we got id and tweet columns in the test dataset. Now let us see the info of test data frame as well. We see that we have two columns namely id and tweet which are of int64 and object data type. Once we have loaded the train and test data sets and also seen info related to them, it's time for us to dig into what the text column have and do some pre-processing. In this particular cell, I have written a cleaning text function which will take the data frame and the text field and it will do data cleaning. It will go to this tweet column and it will remove all the text that have matching regex which are at the rate something which are a to z small a to z 0 to 9 uh, which can repeat any number of times basically it is removing mentions and something that is not alphanumeric and the same goes with the rest two regexes here so it is matching if there is any text which is matching this pattern and we are replacing that with empty nothing and we are returning the data frame which is clean and tidy so let us run this cell now once i have written the function it's time for us to call the function so i want to call the function on both test and train data frames and on the column tweet so i have passed it and i have done the data cleaning so when we print the test clean we see that the tweet is very neat there is no other rate of symbols or unwanted characters anything that we don't want here when we see on the top we see that there are hash tags and other rates everything is present in the tweet column now it's time for us to see how the labels are being distributed within the data set when i run the train clean group by and count I see that zero label having 29,720 rows while one label having only 
2,242 labels, 2,242 rows, which means that our data is imbalanced. The head detection is having a data imbalance problem. What do we need to do? Basically, when we encounter such a problem, we will do something like upsampling or downsampling. If, if we want to do upsampling, we will try to upsample that label which is having less number of columns, less number of rows to match the count of that label which is having more number of rows, more number of examples in the data set. So, I have chosen upsampling or downsampling. In downsampling, we will try to reduce the number of entries of the label which is having more rows to match the lower count of the minor class. So, I have taken, uh, I have imported resample library from sklearn.utils and then I am trying to get train major and train minor from the train clean data frame. Now, once you have done that, I am doing resample. What it will do is that it will try to make duplication or resampling and will get the count of both minor class and major class match in the final data frame. I have done this. Now, let's see what is the shape of the upsampled data frame. We see that both the one label and zero label having 29,720 examples in data set. Now it's time for us to go ahead and build the model. For that we need some more libraries which I have imported here which are tfidf vectorizer from sklearn.featureextraction.txt pipeline from sklearn.pipeline count vectorizer from sklearn.featureextraction.txt tfidf transformer from sklearn.featureextraction.txt and sgd classifier which is stochastic gradient descent classifier from sklearn.linear model now for before we begin building the model i want to build a pipeline which the model will follow basically the model is at the last before applying the model we need to do some pre-processing steps which we could include in the pipeline and when we run the pipeline over our data it will follow the steps mentioned in the pipeline so first i am doing count vectorizer and i am doing tfidf transformer after doing these two steps we'll reach sgd classifier and our model will classify the text as hate speech or not let's run this and then we want to divide the data set into training and testing so i have imported train test split from sql under model selection and i am splitting the data into training and testing so this is done now we want to train the model so before we train the model I have mentioned that we will write a pipeline. The model is at the end of the pipeline. Before that, it will apply the pre-processing steps which are count vectorizer and TFIDF transformer and it will apply the classification algorithm on the resultant data frame. So that's what we did here. We have ran the pipeline.sgd.fit on that x train comma y train and when we predict, we got y predict on the test data set. Now we want to calculate F1 score for our results. So I have imported F1 score from sklearn.matrix and when we run F1 score over the test y test and y predict, I got a result of 0.96 which is very good. It means that our model is predicting the hate speech very well. Hate speech very well. That's the end of our project. Uh, we see that Project Pro is a curated library of verified, solved, end-to-end -end project solutions in data science, machine learning and big data. All the projects here are created by top industry experts from the global tech companies. Here you will get end-to-end -end project solutions, reusable codes, guided videos, 24 by 7 customer support. 
get access to 3000 plus code receipts which are absolutely free and buy the subscription plan to get access to the 250 plus solved projects check out project pro website to know more and subscribe to the project pro youtube channel now thank you project pro the only solution for solved industrial grade projects